Hey guys, it's uh, week 116 of Lick Friday. Um, so this week's Lick is over a different backing track. It's over one of my older tracks, which is uh, in the description below. Um, it's a Slash style track. Um, the Lick is not necessarily a Slash style Lick. It's just a pentatonic Lick over that style of track. Um, it's quite quick, but it's good fun. If you can get this right, it's it's a nice lick. So uh, start it slow and keep it even is the best way to practice it. If you've got a tool to slow the track down, um, so if you can get the MP3 of it from one of the streaming sites and stuff, uh, if you can slow it down, that'd be fantastic because that'll work. Or alternatively, uh, practice it along with uh, a metronome and just slow the speed down. Um, so yeah, that should uh, put you in good stead for a nice little practice session with this one. It's very short, so it's only basically two bars long, um, but it can be quite tricky. Um, so just give it a go and see what you think. But this is the lick along with the track, so here we are. Okay, so the breakdown of this is fairly simple, but it's just the speed of it which can be a bit of a pain in the backside. So, um, but what we've got is the E minor pentatonic, and we're adding in the blues note on the third string, uh, which is the B flat. And uh, if you're unsure of any of those scales, once again, it's all below in the, the links from this website, just here or there. There it is. There it is. Um, so once you've found that scales page on my website then you'll find the links to the uh, pentatonics and the blues scales etc um, so as far as the lick is concerned as i said a second ago um, just practice it slow and then build on the patterns which there are patterns within this so if you can build on those then you're off to an amazing start so you start off with a bend on the 14th fret of your third string Okay, so use your third finger if possible. Make sure you've got your second finger behind that pushing as well. And I use my first finger to kind of collect the strings and stop them doing that, basically. Um, so as you bend, you pivot with your wrist. So for a more in-depth thing on bending or a video on bending, then check out the video link below. Um, but anyway, so 14th fret bend, full tone. Then immediately you're going to use your first finger to go across to the first string 12th fret and then rolling that over to the second string 12th fret. So you get. Okay, don't swap your finger over like that. So make sure your finger is actually ready to roll across so you're not um, getting a break between the notes. It is just a straightforward roll. So you don't want. You don't want to be doing that. You want to be rolling it across. Then the next note, as I just played it, you've got a slow full tone bend um, on the 15th fret of your second string. So it's not slow when you're playing it, but it is kind of slow to reach the climax of the bend. Okay, um, then you've got these uh, sort of four note patterns. Okay. So what we do to start off with, after that 15th fret bend on the second string, you're going to the 12th fret on your first string, coming down to the second string. Uh, so that's 12, 15 second, 12 on the uh, second, and then 14 on the third. So that's your first four note pattern. Then you're going to the 15th fret on the second string, 12 on the second, 14 on the third, and 12 on the third, so that's your um, second four note pattern. Sorry. Now you can, if you want to, pull off certain points for this, but I'll go into that in a second. Um, so after you've done 12, uh, sorry, 15, 12, 14, 12, um, then you have the blue scale run, which is 15th fret, third string, 14, third, 12, third, 14 on the fourth, uh, yeah, fourth, back to the 14th third, and then 12 third, 
finish with a 14 on the 4th. So, or, so the difference there, I was using different fingers first time around, and I used the third finger to cross the two 14s. Entirely your technique, it's up to you. So, um, pull-offs within this. Um, so the first one you can bring in on that 15th fret to the 12th fret on the second string of the first four note pattern. Okay, the next one I bring in on the 12th fret to the 15th again for the second four note pattern. And then the rest of it is all picked. Okay, um, and that is the lick. So I'll play it all slow for you now and then you can uh, Go away and learn it. Have fun with it. Remember, the backing track is coming up after I've finished with this breakdown. So enjoy that. Have fun with it. And the full backing track is also available to stream and download and to enjoy on YouTube as well. So jump in and enjoy. Um, here we go. Licking slow. So one, two, three. Website links just there, social media just there. Have fun, enjoy one, and have a wonderful weekend, everyone. See you next week for week 117. Goodbye.